Hello and welcome to the 35th annual Dragon Ball Gala organized by the Yihong Community Wellness Foundation. I'm your host, Winston C, and with me this evening is the lovely Caitlin Wong. Caitlin, good evening to you. Thank you, Winston, and welcome to this extravagant celebration of Chinese New Year, direct from the Metro Toronto Convention Center. Now, 2024 is the Year of the Dragon, which is a symbol of power, strength, and prosperity. The dragon enjoys a very high reputation in Chinese culture, representing auspiciousness and imperial power since ancient times. It is also the token of authority, dignity, honor, success, luck, and capacity. It does it all. <laughs> the Dragon Ball is more than a celebration gala. It is a flagship fundraiser in the community. This event raises funds for Yi Hong Senior Services and the expansion of long-term care facilities. Yi Hong is one of the largest not-for-profit senior care organizations in the country, offering high-quality, culturally appropriate services to Chinese and other ethnic groups. Now, the foundation has raised over $123 million since its inception in 1987. The gala itself has raised more than $22 million. And throughout the program today, we'll be speaking to Yihong leaders who will bring us up to date on some very exciting new developments. Well, it's time now to introduce our opening dance, the award-winning Sunny Tang Performance Troupe. Wushu by Storm is known for delivering thrilling performances that leave a lasting impression. Choreographed by the great Alan Tang, the action trainer for Simu Lu in Shang-Chi, the team is going to bring to us a double dragon presentation with a display of light and wonder specially designed to celebrate the Year of the Dragon.
first, let me say gong hai fat joy and a very, very happy new year to the Chinese community celebrating Year of the Dragon, such a noble beast. I'm honored to be here. You know, this is the 35th annual Dragon Ball and I've come to many of them. I come to as many as I can because of course in Mississauga we have Yihong Center and this is gives the best possible care to our seniors and so it's very important that we come out and show our support. So of course I'd want to be here to support the Chinese community for the Lunar New Year but also Yihong Center that does such important work right across the city. Yes, thank you so much. And you are absolutely right. Yi Hong does so much for the seniors in our community. Um, you've attended other Dragon Ball events in the past. So what has been your highlight all the time? Oh my gosh. Well, it's always the highlight of the season. Everyone it, who is every business community leader from the Chinese community, from every community has to attend. It's a must attend event. And of course, it's a wonderful opportunity to wear our red dresses. Too. Absolutely. And you look so stunning tonight. Thank you very 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 much for your time and we appreciate you being here I'm here to support and celebrate Yihong Foundation for their many decades of service to seniors so that they could age in dignity what does the dragon symbolize to you dragon is about magical it's about hope it's about being able to serve each other and lift ourselves up so we can do even better for our society and for seniors. This is an annual fundraiser that I always look forward to, as does the rest of the Chinese community and leaders throughout the, uh, the GTA. This year's a special year. This is the 35th anniversary of the Dragon Ball, and we couldn't be luckier because it falls on the first day of the Chinese New Year. So wonderful timing and, and certainly a great celebration and a great organization. Uh, we have uh, Yihong Foundation uh, Senior Center in the city of Markham. They provide wonderful care and uh, honestly uh, everything they do comes from the heart and uh, truly I want to say thank you to Dr. Joseph Wong, Stephen Su, the entire uh, organization and volunteers. They are all dragons because they walk around so confident with their charisma and really the power and the beauty is us all coming together to support such a great cause. No, that was very well said, uh, Mayor Frank Scarpiti. And I think, obviously, all this would not have been possible without um, the support from all three levels of uh, the government. So thank you for being here with us. What has been a highlight um, from you know the past Dragon Balls you attended? Well, uh, there's been all kinds. And I'll tell you, the performances are outstanding. Uh, certainly, uh, all of them every year continue to, to impress me. I think most of all, this is truly one of, the, one of the most successful fundraising events in, in North America for uh, seniors to support seniors. And it, it's uh, the, certainly one of the largest events to support the Chinese New Year. And I'm particularly proud to be here representing the city of Markham, but representing the Chinese community in the city of Markham. And uh, this year, just a, a week ago or so, uh, we became the first municipality in Canada to designate February as Chinese Heritage Month. So, you know what, it's all wrapped up in a ribbon and a bow and, uh, and certainly, again, just an amazing event. Thank you, and thank you for all the work that you do for not only the Chinese community, but the community at, um, and the broad. Uh, thank you very much for your time, and please enjoy the rest of your evening. Welcome back to the 2024 Dragon Ball presented by Yi Hong Foundation. Any New Year celebration isn't complete without a wonderful selection of fine cuisine and many of our booth vendors are offering a vast array of traditional and contemporary Asian delicacies, from wonton soup to sushi to many other delicious foods and desserts. We're drawing closer to the start of the gala, so I'll pass it back to Winston. Thanks, Caitlin. Yes, the gala is about to begin. We have many spectacular performances ahead. But first, we have the national anthem performed by 10-year-old singer Jay Lau, accompanied by the Simus String Ensemble. Seven talented teenage violinists, all of them Canadian or international award winners in various musical competitions.
Honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Yi Hong Foundation and Center, and our colleagues and volunteers, and hundreds of thousands of seniors we have served and their families, I welcome all of you to Dragon Ball 2024. Happy and healthy Year of the Dragon. It actually was 35 years ago, I was having lunch with Frank in his restaurant. And we talked about how to raise money for Yi Hong, that is before Yi Hong came into being. And Dragon Ball was the product, and it persists until today and going to prosper even more in the future. This is the 35th Dragon Ball and going strong. There are not too many galas that persist for so many years and still surprise us year after year with innovations in presentation, atmosphere, food and entertainment. I want to give a lot of credits to all the volunteers who helped out tonight and for many years in the past. And of course, to the amazing Yi Hong Foundation team under the leadership of Stephen Seal, our foundation's president. Please join me to give them all a big round of applause.
Welcome back to the 2024 Dragon Ball presented by the Yihong Foundation. It is wonderful to see so many of our young generation participate in the gala and we want to thank Jay Lau and the members of the Simus String Ensemble who performed the National Anthem and the Chinese Collective Arts Association who delivered the dance performance Descendants of the Dragon. Now Yihong has a very clear mission and that is to offer full continuum of culturally appropriate services and care for seniors living in any setting to optimize their physical, mental, social and spiritual well-being. Yi Hong is thrilled to announce that the construction has started on its fifth long-term care home at Finch Campus in Scarborough. Here's Caitlin Wong with Yi Hong founder and foundation chair Dr. Joseph Wong to tell us more about the new project. Thank you Winston. Hello, Dr. Wong. Thank you so much for your time to being here with us today. Could you share some more details about the new project and how it will benefit seniors in our community? Um, the new project uh, on Scottfield Drive, it is a, 20, a 224 bed long-term care home. And since there are so many seniors are waiting for admission, uh, it, this would be a good news to them. Uh, after it is completed in 2026, uh, we would have a lot of seniors who come in and it would reduce the waiting list time. And uh, the project is $135 million. It is huge. And our share of the equity uh, fundraising would be $35 million. So it's a huge project and we are still getting there. We are not yet there yet, <laughs> but I'm quite sure that with the support of the community, with the support of our donors, uh, we would eventually be able to finish it. That's awesome. It sounds like we are getting close, everyone, but we still need your ongoing support. Thank you very much, Dr. Wong. And we would also like to extend a huge thank you to the Yi Hong's 2024 Dragon Ball Gala co-chairs. Please see a special greeting from them. Lei Lei Si Si Yan Yan Yao Fan Fu 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 Bai Fu Li Men Happy New Year! Happy New Year! 
Thank you very much, Dr. Wong, for revealing the details of the new facility, which should be ready to open its doors in 2026. And now let's return to Caitlin, who is standing by with some very special guests. Hi, Caitlin. Thank you, Winston. I'm now here with Mr. Steve Sun, one of the co-chairs of the Love Gives Capital campaign. Mr. Sun, can you please share a bit more about how the CCRPA supports the Love Gives Capital campaign? And also, what is our fundraising target? Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Steven Sun, uh, the president of the CCRPA Foundation. Uh, in May 2022, we launched the program called the CCRPA Econ Hero Foundation to support our Econ Love Give Capital campaign. We commit to raise one million within the next five years. So far, we already raised uh, three hundred thousand uh, dollars in uh, just uh, for, for the past just one and a half years. Uh, so I'm here to encourage everyone, especially uh, from the real estate industry, to join our program to do more for our community, to do more for our econ community. I'm here with Ms. Emily Mo, the Director of Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office in Toronto. Emily, thank you so much for being here with me today. Um, I know you were the individual responsible for bringing uh, the Kandema players to the Dragon Ball this year. Can you kind of share a bit more of uh, your motivations as to why you decided to bring them over for a performance? Thank you, Caitlin. You know that this is the um, year of the dragon and it uh, represents a lot of spirit, power, strength. And the Kandama team from Hong Kong is fully a well display of uh, this spirit. They actually are uh, planning a lot of like actions, movement, acrobats, dances, music to form a, a, a very uh, fantastic performance for Dragon Ball. So I think uh, it actually represents uh, the Hong Kong spirit very much at this occasion. Yes, thank you so much. And I could even see myself that the movements also resemble dragons as well. I'm also here with Ho Lam, I'm actually one of the Kandema players from the Hong Kong Freestyle Kandema Association. Ho Lam, can you please share a bit as to uh, how do you feel about sharing your passion for Kandema um, and the performance you've, you've played today? Um, I felt so emotional right now because um, we can show that we have different faces to show our skills to the world, which also means that Hong Kong have different faces for the tourism to come to visit. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. And I see you have a kendama um, in your hands. Do you mind maybe showing a trick to our audience as well? A quick trick, yeah. Wow, oh my goodness. <laughs> Amazing, thank you so much. And thank you to the team as well for your incredible performance. Thank you both. When we return, we'll have a special performance by the Hong Kong Freestyle Kendama Association, and we'll take a look behind the scenes at the culinary preparations for the 2024 Dragon Ball Gala. Stay with us.
That was great. Now the dinner menu at this year's Dragon Ball Gala features many Chinese New Year ingredients symbolizing good luck and prosperity. Tonight's gala dinner menu at the Metro Toronto Convention Center is exquisitely presented and arranged by a team of talented multicultural chefs. Here's Caitlin now with the sous chef. Thank you, Winston. I'm here in the kitchen with executive sous chef Daniel. So Daniel, what inspired uh, you to incorporate some of the Chinese New Year ingredients in some of the uh, din dinner menu tonight? Well, our, our chef and our chefs wanted to incorporate some of the great aspects of the Chinese culture in terms of prosperity and good luck and fortune. So in representing in the food, which is some uh, fresh sea scallops, uh, the pork shank, uh, the smoked duck. So everything has a relative uh, uh, perspective for each uh, course. With all this exquisite uh, cuisine, how long did it take to prepare uh, all the meals from the prep time to that final execution? Well, we actually did a tasting about four weeks ago with the organizers of the uh, Chinese New Year. And so they picked our menu with what we had shown them. In that, in that process, about uh, three weeks, we've been ordering, uh, getting the products in. So we've been in production with the food of, with about a week's time. So, and then today, our final day, we're here and ready to go. Yeah, thank you so much. We're super grateful for all the hard work you and your team have put together to make this uh, dining experience exceptional. And so what do you hope to that the guests will get out of tonight's dining experience? Well, we hope for sure that they enjoy every course and, and they understand the relevance of what we have prepared from the smoked duck, the first course, the fresh sea, scall uh, sea scallops, the uh, pork shank, and then of course our lovely dessert. So it's it just in terms of uh, the flow of the food and, and all the representations of all the different ingredients in the food. Yi Hong is known to provide exceptional services to our seniors, and part of that process is ensuring the seniors can eat their meals in comfort. With me, I have joined Rani Lee and Amanda Huynh. Both are associate professors of design at OCAD University. Professor Lee, what motivated you to develop these nicely designed plates? So my mom is living with Alzheimer's and seeing that she doesn't really recognize foods when it's outside of her own culture really motivated us to really focus the East Asian way of dining through a research project. Thank you very much. And Professor Huynh, what was the whole process of developing these plates from start to finish and now they look amazing? So we actually presented at an academic conference, we're professors, so we, on our way back from Belgium where we were presenting, we drew these plates on the Air Canada stick bags, they, it's shown here, um, and then we've had uh, several production runs to really get to what we wanted with the ceramic plates, and we've been privileged, so privileged to work with Yi Hong uh, on the very custom ones tonight that we have here tonight. That is amazing, and I am sure it took a lot of thought process and thinking and creativity, but they turned out really nicely. So thank you both very, very much. And now, back to Winston. Thanks, Caitlin. The feature performer at the Dragon Ball Gala this year is the Advocates Big Band. Originally assembled in 1991 by a group of young lawyers, the band includes many top professional musicians and music educators. A performance from the Advocates Big Band is next.
In addition to a variety of cuisines, we also have a wine tasting available on site. Johnny Walker brought its blue label Year of the Dragon special edition. Hi Nadia, why is Johnny Walker supporting the Dragon Ball tonight and what do you think about tonight's gala? Well, tonight's gala has been absolutely incredible. To be able to immerse Johnny Walker Blue Label into um, Dragon Ball has just been so amazing. As we know, the funds raised tonight will go to the expansion of He Young's um, facility for geriatric support. For Johnny Walker Blue Lab Label to be here tonight is really to celebrate the occasion that brings all community together. And so to be able to have an event, to be able to do this and bring um, the special tastings of Johnny Walker uh, blue label that has been designed by um, Asian American artist James Jean and this is the 11th year that we've been creating special edition limited uh, available in the stores of Johnny Walker blue label to celebrate Lunar New Year and the beautiful heritage. It's been such a wonderful event at the 2024 Dragon Ball. You can see the auction room is absolutely bustling. Oh, I think I see my friend Max. Hello, Max. Happy New Year. Hello, hello. I know you've been a guest at this event and it's been such an amazing night. Can you share a bit about your dining experience um, tonight as someone who is in the food industry? Wow. The, first of all, let me talk about the reception. The reception was to die for. My friends at Golden Bubble made some special desserts for everyone tonight. The food at the dinner, ooh, amazing. The meat to die for fell off right the bone. Oh my God, fantastic. The dessert, ooh, lovely. Sweet, delicious, tangy, beautiful. So everyone, thank you. You must come next year. I promise you, it, you won't regret it. The 2024 Dragon Ball Gala is drawing to a close. But before we say our final goodbyes, we are joined by the Yi Hong Foundation President, Stephen Su, to say a few closing words. Stephen, what are some of the highlights of tonight's event? You know, we're concluding this event now. In fact, uh, some of the, our guests are leaving. I'm getting excellent feedback from them. They're saying that that's a fantastic gala dinner. To me, the Dragon Ball is a record setter every year. Every year we can raise about $1 million out of the Dragon Ball. And we use the money to fund some of our program, to fund our expansion, especially right now. Yi Hong is building a new long-term care center in, in Scarborough. And also, two years ago, we set up a residential hospice. And we need the money to subsidize the operation of the hospice as well. So imagine the message to everyone tonight. It's not only a celebration. It's not only something, a, a good feast, a Chinese New Year feast. Because we want to convey the message that the, the importance of intercultural relationship. We, that's the reason why we have, uh, gets, we have got so many young people taking part in the, uh, in the Dragon Ball this year, including the host tonight, Kaylin, Susan. So we want to get more young people involved and to have uh, our succession. You know, because for taking care of the seniors, we need to, uh, the younger generation to understand the importance of intergeneration uh, relationship and also the importance of taking care of our senior. We, tonight, we are enjoying the event at the Metro Toronto Centre. But you might know that there are some seniors who are staying at the long-term care centres who could not join us. There are people on the last leg of their life journey in our hospice. They could not uh, uh, join this event. So I hope we will continue to get your support for the next Dragon Ball. This Dragon Ball is already a record setter. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Su, and we look forward to seeing you all at next year's Dragon Ball.
Well, we have come to the end of this evening's extravaganza. Caitlin, it has been an honor. It has been entertaining, and it's been so fun to do the Dragon Ball Gala with you this year as we usher in the Year of the Dragon this 2024. Yes, Winston, we have enjoyed many spectacular performances and met many wonderful personalities at tonight's gala. As always, this has been a truly memorable event. Yes, Caitlin, but we must remind our viewers that the work of Yihong and the Yihong Foundation is ongoing. They want to provide some of the best services possible for the seniors in their care. So please donate and help Yihong to continue to provide community resources and assistance to our aging population. Thank you, Caitlin, for all of your hard work this evening. And thank you, Winston. We will wrap up the show now with a sensational performance from the Advocates Big Band. A foggy day in London town Had me low and had me down I feel the morning with alarm The British Museum had lost its charm How long I wondered could this thing last But the age of miracles Shining everywhere How long I wondered Could this thing last But the age of miracles Had The sun was shining everywhere Could this thing last? 